We were talking earlier about uh, Senator Durbin's comments about uh, Social Security running out of money, uh, as if he was kind of speaking like the president, that, well, maybe chain CPI, I don't know. I mean, he didn't literally say that, but, uh, you know, I was suggesting that you might want to call his office and let him know your thoughts on this. Uh, Mark Warner, Senator Mark Warner, said something very similar on CBS's Face the Nation. He said, we all know at the end of the day, Democrats are going to have to give on entitlement reforms. Now, this was the kind of rhetoric we were hearing from the president in 2008 and 2009. And what happened in 2010, the Republicans passed the Seniors' Bill of Rights, and they won back the House. Um, so uh, Sheldon Whitehouse, Tammy Baldwin, Bernie Sanders, Peter DeFazio, there's a lot of good people on this. Senators Warner, Wyden, Patty Murray uh, in Washington State uh, haven't yet said exactly what they think. And I just wanted to, to, to get Congressman Peter DeFazio on, one of the smartest guys in the House of Representatives, one of the leaders of the, of the House uh, Progressive Caucus, and somebody who's been talking about Social Security for years and years and years and knows this topic inside out. Uh, to share his thoughts with us. Congressman DeFazio, welcome back to the program. Hey, Tom, thanks. Uh, I think it's almost 20 years uh, since Bernie and I uh, introduced a bill in the House to lift the cap uh, on earnings, which, of course, would provide more money than Social Security would need forever. I mean, think of those top 10 CEOs uh, today who average, uh, what was it, uh, I can't remember, it's a big number, Four forty million each. Can't remember. I think it was forty billion. Um, and uh, you know, just think if we were, if they were paying Social Security on those earnings, and the company was matching them. Think of the money that would flow into Social Security trust fund. Instead, they want to take away benefits from seniors uh, who are on food stamps and having a hard time making ends meet. Uh, this chain CPI is not benign. It's destructive. Uh, I've got a chart. Don't have a whip. I'm driving in from the airport, but shows how many. Average uh, week's worth of food uh, seniors would lose every year you move out into the future uh, because of the chain CPI. Right, and the chain CPI is particularly going to hit people who are just signing up for Social Security. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, if there's already been a change, two changes in Social Security that are major. The so-called botch, which people talked about for years. Well, the notch reduced everybody's future benefits, not just people who fell into that notch. Uh, so you're already getting a lower rate of return, if you have it, or a lower replacement rate uh, on Social Security uh, when you retire currently. And, of course, uh, retirement age has already moved up to age 66. I keep hearing boarding Joe saying, we should move it up to 66. Well, Joe, you were there when we voted to move it up to 66, I think. So yeah. you've already made some major changes in the benefits uh, that penalize the average working folks for dependent on Social Security, 40% of seniors are principally dependent on Social Security, and the chain CPI uh, is not uh, a good thing for those folks. Yeah, very, very well said. And, and another point, we're talking with Congressman Peter DeFazio, who so ably represents, I believe it's the, what is it, the 4th uh, District yep. of Oregon? Yep. Yep. Uh, the, the, uh, another point that needs to be made for those people who might be listening to us right now who are not over 65 and are not even close to 65, who are in their teens or 20s or 30s or 40s, is that fully a third of Social Security payments go to people who are not retired. They go to people who are literally widows, orphans, or people who are disabled. My friend Michael Hutchison, who, who was running out running in New Mexico one day in Santa Fe, hit a patch of ice, flipped over a bridge, fell into a, into a river, broke his neck, and he spent the rest of his life, he just died a few months ago, he spent the next, uh, you know, almost 20 years living, uh, you know, as a quadriplegic, living on Social Security. This is an insurance policy for every American, and it actually is a bigger insurance policy for young people than it is for old people. Yeah, uh, I, I would challenge anyone. I, I have people come to my town meeting and say, I can do better, I can do better, just give me my money. Right. Well, I had a guy who was going to come and stand up and say, you know, actually, you can't, and here's the reasons why. Because you're not just getting a retirement benefit, uh, which is guaranteed, rare thing these days. Uh, you're also getting, as you put it, a full-life disability, full-life survivor's uh, insurance. Uh, you know, try and go out and buy uh, a, you know, annuity with an insurance policy uh, that matches your Social Security, and you'll find out it costs a heck of a lot more. Yeah. Exactly. So the simple solution, first of all, Social Security doesn't have a problem. It's solvent for the next 20 years, and it'll pay 70% of benefits forever after that, and some say even 27 years, although Dick Durbin, I think, said 20 years on TV this weekend. But 
so we don't have to deal with this tomorrow. It doesn't have to be some desperate part of some grand bargain or any other kind of nonsense. But in addition to that, if we simply said, I mean, I find this bizarre, Congressman DeFazio. Why is it that only people who make under a hundred and roughly thirty thousand dollars a year? You, you, I'm sure you know the exact number. I'm sorry, I don't. Um, only people who make under that have all of their income taxed on Social Security. And anybody who makes anything over that, the millionaires, the billionaires, they pay not one penny into Social Security after that first $130,000. Yeah, think of it this way. I think the current limit this year is one hundred twelve eight. dollars I think, I don't know, I can't keep up, but okay. it's adjusted every year. Uh, so at one dollars eight, you're paying full Social Security, uh, 6.4%. Now, uh, if you earned uh, 10 times that, you would pay 0.6% of your income into Social Security. Uh, you know, it's essentially it's a regressive tax uh, on people. And, you know, if you want to, and there are all these people running around, around about flat taxes. I, I even went to the Ways and Means Committee when this guy, Archer, his chair once. I said, Mr. Chairman, do you like flat tax? He said, right. He, he said, but this is the hearing on Social Security. And I said, that's right. Here's the solution to Social Security. Let's have a flat tax on all income. <laughs> he just about choked. <laughs> But but it's so common sense. I mean, the president could even call it a flat tax, and 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 I think he would be politically bulletproof if he did. Yes, we're going to turn Social Security, the Social Security tax, into a flat tax. Most people, it, you know, the the ninety percent of Americans will be completely unaffected by this. Ninety six percent of Americans would be completely unaffected by it, and and probably wouldn't even know what he was talking about. They'd just think, oh yeah, okay, so he's a middle of the road guy. And, uh, you know, only the millionaires and billionaires will realize that a small sliver of their income is now going to be taxed that wasn't taxed before. And Social Security is solvent forever. How can you guys in the Progressive Caucus in the House of Representatives and the Progressives in the Senate get the rest of the Democratic Caucus in the House and Senate to message this? Well, And how can we help you? Well, we've tried different things, you know. And the president said he wouldn't tax anybody below 250000 income. Uh, Bernie and I introduced a version of the bill, he in the Senate, I in the House, that said, okay, we'll leave the current caps, at, at that point I think they're 108. Uh, between 108 and 250, you won't pay anything more, but over 250 you'll pay on all the additional income. Uh, that didn't attract uh, his support, even though the president had supported this concept when he ran against Hillary Clinton, uh, that we should lift the cap. Uh, so, you know, if, if it comes down to they're going to sell out Social Security recipients, with a chain CPI, uh, then I think people will start listening to our message. Wait a minute. If enough seniors and enough people who know what this means for seniors uh, start to raise a ruckus about it, uh, then maybe we'll finally put in play a sensible solution. Let's take Social Security off the table. Let's fix it forever. Just make it a flat tax on all income. And now let's move on to bigger problems like Medicare and uh, other things. Right, right. Um, I, I think that flat tax meme is one that really, really could go a long, long way. And I'm going to start talking about it like that. Instead of lift the cap, which people don't know what you're talking about, just say turn Social Security into a flat tax. Everybody pays the exact same percentage uh, regardless of their income. And, yeah. and you know, I could, I could pull quotes from Ronald Reagan out for that. You know? yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Like that. Congressman DeFazio, um, Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for fighting the good fight. Thanks for knowing these things. Thanks for, you said 20 years ago, you and Bernie introduced the first... I think it might have been 95, so it's not quite 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah I think 18 time. years ago. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You, fighting the good fight all these years. Yeah. Congressman Peter DeFazio, his website, defazio.house.gov. I have that right, right? Yep. And, and, you know, please check it out. And, Congressman, thanks again for being with us and for, for the great work you're doing. Okay, thank you, Doug. Great talking with you. Congressman Peter DeFazio of Oregon, one of the best guys, seriously, one of the best guys in the United States House of Representatives.